On this adventure with Look and You, we have a turbulent week and we discuss some big decisions. I think we put the boat on the market and try to sell it, and if we don't sell it, we go to museum. Thousand nautical miles of heading south. It's always a good, good thing, isn't it? Start with so. Start with so. Yep. Happening in the background over the last month since we've been in Adelaide is the looming possibility of a job for me in Adelaide. And so we've just been going through that process and contemplating what we do if I get the job after Jamie stops crying and what we do... That may take a long time. If uh, I don't get the job. It's about 60-40, I think. So, the options are... To be fair, are, you weren't planning on this job. Someone reached out no, to no, you. No, no, they reached out to me. A place I used to work. And we'd always said, for the right opportunity... At the right time. We would take work if it was there. And then, you know, it might be three years, who knows, whatever. And then resume sailing. So, we've come to a conclusion. Get a job. Sell the boat, because it's a good time to sell a boat in Australia. And we love her. And but we've we just done we've just all sold, this work in the last 12 months. spent a huge amount of money. But that's to get us up just the way we want. Which means it's a really good time to sell her. But, it's a really good time to sell a boat in Australia. It's a really good time to buy a boat in Europe. Prices are high here, they're low in Europe. Ideally, given that we got all the way to... Thailand and we never want to do the Thailand Europe leg other than there's maybe Chagos in there or maybe this is Shells. Uh, no so they're, they're definitely there. They're, they're still definitely there. there. They still well they were there last time we looked. It's a long way to go for those destinations. We have to retrace all, the, all our steps through Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand and while there were some amazing places we went to it just seems a little bit like doing the same thing over and over again and I'm not a big fan of that. I know Jamie's I don't necessarily agree. James I'd happily do that again. You would. So, so we've come to the conclusion. Job, sell the boat. Jamie sells the boat because it's $30,000 in broker fees at the moment in Australia, which is... Ridiculous. Diabolical. They want basically almost three times what you'd pay to a real estate agent to sell a property worth a lot more money. So job, sell, okay. Adelaide... Being work, the work location. The work location. Two, three, four years, whatever that is. Hopefully three is the number that we're both mildly comfortable with. Uh, sit on the money, save more money, and then go to Europe in two or three years' time. Buy a boat. Spend six months getting it back to what we want, and then continue on from there. And it would be a bigger, newer boat that we would then add the bits and pieces that we know we, we would want and need for, for cruising. Yeah. That yeah. we can afford, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. So then we'd sail across the Atlantic. We could do the Caribbean. We could do America, if we were prepared to get cold, Canada, um, parts of South America, etc., and then come across and do the Pacific, which is what we've really always Most wanted to do. Along. And we'd be sailing with the wind, whereas we are notoriously bad at going the right direction no, we're from... No, we're very good at going the wrong very direction. very good at going the wrong direction, yeah. as opposed to going where the trade winds go and sailing with the trade winds in the correct direction. Correct. So that's option one. Option two is no job, do the same thing. Sell the boat, go to Europe straight away, or essentially straight away, in two to three months' time, buy a boat. So essentially... Exactly, exactly the same thing, but without the job. Option three... No job. If you, for whatever reason... Are not successful. Or you can't agree on the package or whatever. Whatever. If you don't get the job... And we then, don't sell the boat. And we choose not to sell the boat. Then we sail it on the coast of Australia, which is our current plan. Go across to New Zealand for a southern summer. 
And then, oh, there goes my water. And then sail to Tonga and Fiji for the cruising season being April, sort of May next year. So, there's our three options. What are your thoughts? No, no. We paused this whole conversation. So what were your thoughts? That's where we got to and you went, wait, wait, wait. Why should it start with me? <laughs> because I asked you the question first. I said hand on heart, and you said it's not that easy, and blah, 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 and then we... Yeah, it's not that easy. You ran away to do some few jobs, and now we're batting it. If I get the job, we sell the boat. So I, will, I will be suicidal, of course, if we sell the boat. We won't be happy either, darling. I love our boat. Don't listen, looky. Either we sell, and we do the Europe thing, or we keep the boat and go to New Zealand. I think, I mean, that, be both... I think that choice will be clearer once we get to the point of the no job. It would be both exciting and a bigger risk. To sell the boat, we don't know what we'd sell it for, what we can get for it. Um, and also, it would be exciting to go to Europe and go boat shopping. It'd be in the middle of winter, so it'd be freezing cold, but that's probably a really good time to find the right boat and go <coughs> from there. Yeah. So, are we any closer to a decision? If you don't get the job, that's what you're on the fence of, whether we keep the boat or sell the boat. Is that right? Yep. Well, I think if we... If for that Looking if at the list up there. If we don't get, if I don't get this job, then <clears throat> I think we put the boat on the market and try to sell it. And if we don't sell it, we go to New Zealand. There you go. That's what I think. And if we do sell it. So as we're going down the coast, we just hope it sells before then. Yeah. And if it doesn't, by we'll the go time. Go to New Zealand. And the cost of the advert's about a thousand bucks. So we burn a thousand dollars if we take it off the market. I mean, you can keep it on the market. You can keep it's just it on you're in another country then. Yeah, correct chance of someone buying it from Australia is a lot less. Correct. Jamie, that's what I think. What do you think? Put her on the market? That's what I'm waiting. I've told you what I think. You're just, once again, describing the same options. Yeah. And if that's how you're trying to clarify things in your mind, that's fine. But you're not helping me by describing the same thing over and over again. What do you think? What I think. If you describe an option again, I'm literally going to throat I punch think, you. I think. Jamie, throat punch. <laughs> I don't want to be throat punched by you. I think what we do is we decide after you either get or don't get this job. Fine. Stall. Fine. And I'm okay with that. You can stall. Well, it'll take me a week or two. Okay. So. Cool. Happy with that? I already told you what I thought we should do. Are you happy with that? Because you've made no okay. decisions whatsoever. I've made multiple decisions. Well, I've made one decision. Just... To not make a decision. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Well done. I was going to join the Procrastinators Club, oh. but I never got around to it. Today it's all going to change. A week later, when the job didn't materialise, it was time to say goodbye to the Whit Sundays. And we are currently in Early Beach. <laughs> Alright, so that is nine weeks time to be in New Zealand in nine weeks time yep. I just feel we need to go south well it's official we have headed south we are on our way to Mackay and we're about to go through Goldsmith and Lion Islands um, and with some extra plotting we're waiting for sort of the right wind and uh, really big tides. Um, that's two beautiful days of uh, sailing. Well, a thousand nautical miles of heading south and then we'll be able to head off uh, to New Zealand for a southern summer. And then hopefully we go New Zealand, Tonga, Fiji for the next cruising season. Although sailing is mostly about the wind and the direction which way it's going to go as to whether you leave or whether you don't on a particular day. <clears throat> Where we are in Australia at the moment, far north Queensland, coming up to Mackay, the tides are huge. So Mackay gets up to eight metre tide. And so the amount of water moving over a six hour period is substantial. So it's not just about timing uh, to make sure you're getting the winds right. The moment what we're doing mostly is waiting for low winds um, but getting up early to catch the tide going in the right direction. At the moment we've got today, I think a four and a half hour tidal movement. Four and a half Sorry, what did I say? Hour. Oh, four and a half hour. No, still six hour. 
Uh, so it's a really big moon at the moment. So four and a half metre tidal change. Um, and so if you try and push against that, even if the winds are going the right way, you do really low speeds. At the moment, we're doing seven knots in our gap. Uh, so far, it has worked perfectly. Feeling very chuffed about my scheming the last couple of days to make sure that we are doing all the right things. So with this huge amount of water moving, we've got a really nice current going with us. Um, so it's working really well for us today. We arrived in Mackay so we could haul the boat out on the slipway and get a number of boat jobs completed, including the replacement of our propellers. Always disconcerting seeing your boat being lifted out like this. The full list of repairs and how-to videos are contained in our next video, How to Be on the Hard. We are saying goodbye to Mackay, again, for the third time in our life. Um, with a northerly wind behind us, so probably motor sailing, I think. Um, I don't think it'll be enough to put the spinnaker up, but it should be a nice, flat passage. Their famous last words. It is a beautiful day today, as you can probably sell, tell uh, looking behind me. But um, we have decided, engine's off. We've got enough wind directly behind us. We've got the spinnaker up. We're cruising along beautifully at five knots uh, against the current. Because uh, up here the, um, the tide, it ebbs to the north and floods to the south. We're heading south and it's currently going north. So 5.4 knots is pretty good actually in light winds. Eight, eight knots of apparent. It's early evening, just going into the night. We've had... Uh, Mainsail up, mainsail down, spinnaker up, spinnaker down, mainsail up, halfway, mainsail down, mainsail up, headsail up, uh, engine on, engine off, engine on, engine off. But essentially it has been reasonably consistent winds coming from the north east -ish. Um, And we're currently choosing to motor sail, the winds are quite light and but we'd make a bit of headway while we could. Light's beautiful this time of night. All the islands light up just delightfully. It's Jamie's favourite time. And hopefully, uh, we're in for just a normal, standard sailor boat sort of night. No excitement for me, thank you, Jamie. You can have all the excitement tonight. And I'm going to microwave some dinner in a bit, watch a movie, and Jamie's going to go to bed. Demise? Deme Demise. Twice! <laughs> Denise made a really nice curry, so take a minute to the microwave and we'll have that beautiful curry with some homemade coconut roti and... And rice, Jamie. And rice. Got a mouthful of curry. It's awesome. I love this time of night where you get really nice light. Oh my god, we've got enough uh, mobile coverage that we're streaming a Grand Prix while we're sailing. Pace he's got now then if he can close the gap to Hamilton. So we've just anchored down on the southern side of Keppel because there's northeast at the moment. And I was just lying down in bed and I saw a severe thunderstorm warning for right where we are, issued two minutes ago. Giant hail and destructive winds. Well, we were in a delightful anchorage, having drinks with friends on the other Lookamu. Yes, there are two boats called Lookamu. And then these uh, violent thunderstorms have gone sort of south of this area, but it totally swung the wind from the north to the southeast. So that was rolly as hell in there. So we've called it, pulled anchor, and we're moving around on the uh, western side of the island. So we'll try and find place that we can anchor over here and if we can't then we'll just have to deal with it. But I think we'll be okay. And there are apparently two mooring boys in here like uh, Great Barrier Reef proper Queensland mooring boys. We've moved around the corner which almost no one else has. We've got 
all these big weather systems that are going to go across, which have got severe um, wind warnings, large hail, thunderstorms, we're seeing a lot of lightning. And so it's probably going to be a pretty rolly tonight. While we're talking about this, I'm seeing lightning out the corner of our eyes. So while it might be a bit rolly in here tonight, we're not going to go anywhere. We're certainly not going to drag into anyone else's boat. And we're going to be safe. Have a look at these waves rolling in behind me. We've probably got... I don't know, half a metre waves in supposedly a protected anchorage. <sighs> when your husband starts with you look delightful and you haven't slept properly for two nights. Uh, so this morning we're contemplating when do we leave. Bundaberg from here is about 120 nautical miles. You can do two big days of 60 and then 60. The middle spot though is Pancake Creek is pretty exposed from the north from memory and I believe I got stung by about 4,000 mosquitoes last time we were there. Uh, so we're going to do another overnight because the winds are still northerly. Uh, we've just done the predict wind download and it looks like 15 to 20 from the north when we start and then sometime between 1am and 5am we have no wind at all and we're going to motor from, from there on. Um, and we can pull into the marina, hopefully have a nap and then go and visit some grandkitties. Well it certainly looks a lot better in the light of day and it's a lot calmer today so um, we'll hang around here until our one o'clock departure. Next up, how to be on the heart. Always disconcerting seeing your boat being lifted out like this. Day seven on the heart. I hope that's not the new one. Holding a boat. 40. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Okay.